Would you like to hear another weird-ass fairy tale? Then pop over to Italy with me, because their tales never disappoint. Welcome back to Around the World in 80 Folk Tales. Today I'm sharing The Cloven Youth, which is a tale I picked for Disability Pride Month. Because its hero is quite literally half of a man. Now, he wasn't always a cloven man. When his mom was pregnant, she pulled a Rapunzel and stole a bunch of parsley from the witch next door. But instead of kidnapping the baby and locking it in a tower, the witch went in this direction. When your son turns seven years old, he will be half mine and half yours. It turns out she meant that literally. She sliced that boy straight down the middle of his face to, well, you know. And half went to live with her, and half stayed with his mother. The kid wasn't thrilled to lose half his body, but he got on fine. He grew up to be a fisherman. And one day he caught a small eel that begged to be released. If you free me, anything you wish will come true. The cloven man decided to use his first wish to move up in the world. And I gotta say he did it in a pretty fucked up way. He wished that the princess would bear his son before the year was out. Showing that you can still be a dick, even if yours is split in two. So the poor princess mysteriously finds herself pregnant, and her father did not believe her when she claimed to be a virgin. She bore a son and she had to raise him in shame. It wasn't until her son was a toddler that a sorcerer figured out a way to find the boy's father. He invited all of the men of the village to the palace, and he gave the child a bewitched golden apple. The boy will hand it to the man who is his father. The toddler walked straight to the cloven man and dropped the apple in his hand. The king had the cloven man and his daughter married promptly, but he wasn't done punishing them. He had the newlyweds bound in a barrel and tossed into the sea. Luckily, the cloven man still had limitless wishes. What would make you happy, my dear? To be out of this barrel on dry land. No sooner had she asked, and the pair was on a lovely island. The cloven man promptly wished them a castle, and lands, and servants, and company. Is there anything else I can wish for you? Well, this wouldn't be an old folk tale if I just accepted you as you are. So I'd like to wish you whole. See, that's the thing with fairy tales and folk tales that feature disabled characters. Most of the representation is pretty fucking bad. Either those characters are villains, or the disability is used as punishment. There are some great disabled characters, like the Maiden with No Hands, or characters in Beauty and the Beast type tales. But they almost always have their disability magically cured in the end. So the Cloven Man was reunited with his literal other half. Which begs the question, what the hell was the other guy up to this whole time? Now, Uncloven Man and his princess bride framed the king as a thief. In doing so, they made the king understand the trauma that he had put his daughter through when she was pregnant. He apologized, and the princess forgave her dad. And everyone lived happily ever after. Let me know in the comments where else you'd like me to visit for a future global folktale.